fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC flyweight division title. So this young flyweight puts it all on the line here tonight. He has finally realized his first UFC title fight. And you wonder if some of those UFC jitters could creep back in when you think about a guy making his UFC debut and looking wide-eyed, making the walk. This is a five-round championship fight against the number one 125-pounder in the world. All of that said, he believes he's the best. And we'll try to prove it here in a matter of moments. This is his first world championship fight, a tremendous moment in his career. This is what he has been working for his entire UFC career. And there is an amazing amount of pressure on him at this moment. UFC Flyweight Championship fight, and there is the man out of the red corner, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, making his way to the octagon. He's defended this belt before. This is not new territory for this young man who believes that the rest are just the rest. He believes he is the best at 125 pounds and looking to prove just that here tonight. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lovey. the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Joseph UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ready? 
You ready? All right, here we go. The UFC flyweight title is on the line. This should be good. While the buzz in the building is palpable as we get round one underway, Joe Rogan, this is his first UFC flyweight championship fight. He waited a long time to get this opportunity. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Benavidez gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Really missed with that right hand. Right hook to the head block. With conviction to the body. Yeah, it's it's freak. It's like he's cheating. Like it! He it. Wow! Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh! He got lit up. Looking to establish the jab here. Oh, nicely got the, oh. the champion is hurt here. He is in big trouble. He's trying to cover up. We might be seeing a new champ right now. He's trying to take the back here. Back to the feet now. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He's almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Nice overhand. With conviction to the body goes Benavidez. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, working well off of that jab. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Benavidez. Oh, oh, oh. He, he is hurt here. the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. There's a nice kick. Benavidez gets caught by that straight punch. That will get his attention. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Whoa! He's had big, big trouble. Joe, that was some throwback style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas. He wasn't looking to score there. He was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there. Well, mission accomplished on that front. This is one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. Let's take a look at that again. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom! And then he's out. Well, a win is useful, but a knockout even more so. Nicely done by the UFC flyweight champion tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 16 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout and new. Some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see.
New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division, and it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class. You have to sleep You have to dream you got to touch, you have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to see it. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as he fought the fight of his life when it mattered the most. When the dust settled, Bruce Buffer said and knew. And he was crowned UFC Flyweight Champion of the World thanks to a memorable referee stoppage. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC.